Hi guys, Matt here from Spire Electrics. I'm here today with our MultiPlus light and I'm going to show you how to integrate it with a Haywood OmniLogic pull controller. So the MultiPlus light is already into setup mode and I've selected the universal color logic mode on the MultiPlus menu. All we need to do at this point is turn the lights off and leave them off for a minute and that will program the light. So that'll give us time to have a look at the controller menu. So here we are at the OmniLogic controller menu. Now to set up our pull lights, the first thing we need to do is access the config menu. Now from here we're going to go into the config wizard, but you will need to know your MSP ID in order to access this mode. If you don't know your MSP ID, you can simply select your system info and the ID will be presented at the top of the screen. So now we go into the config wizard and we enter our MSP ID. Hit OK. At this point it'll ask us whether we want to create a new configuration or edit an existing one. When you're setting up this controller from new, you will need to set up a new configuration. However, in this video, I'm going to use the edit mode just to speed things up. We hit next. So now we're in the setup mode menu and we need to go to bodies of water in order to program our pool lights. So you will need to add as many bodies of water as your pool has. So if you have a pool and a spa, you'll need multiple bodies. In this case, we're just setting up the pool. So we're going to just select pool. At this point we need to go in and add a new standalone light. At this point it will ask us what kind of light we'd like to add. And you see from the drop down menu we have a few to choose from. In this case we are using the UCL which is the Universal Color Logic Light. However if you did have existing Color Logic 4.0 lights in your pool you could use that. However you just want to make sure that your MultiPlus lights are programmed to Color Logic 4.0 mode before you carry on. So you select that and push OK. So now we have our UCL light selected and we can move forward in the menus. Now we need to name the group of lights. Uh, for ease of this video, I'm going to keep it as UCL. However, if you wanted to name different pool or spa lights, you could do that at this point. Now we need to determine how many relays are being used to control the lights. And this relates directly back to the relays inside the OmniLogic unit. In our case, we're only setting up a single channel, so just for pool. However, if you used a pool and a spa or had additional water features, you would need to program as many relays in that you were using. Now we need to just select which particular relays are being used for your pool lights. You'll be given a list of all the available relays within the OmniLogic controller, and you need to select the relay or the circuit which the pool lights are connected to. In our case, it's HVR1. Now that we've selected our relay, we can continue on. Now you'll be asked if you have any universal color logic lights that you'd like to automatically set up into UCL mode. Now it is important to select no at this point as our lights have already been set up into UCL mode. Once we've done this, we can push the home button as our setup's complete. Now that your setup's complete, you'll see that the lighting module is available on the home screen. Now we can go into that and just make sure that all our setup has been done correctly. The light we put in was in the pool and it was the UCL group. And now you'll see you'll have all the colors and modes available for that lighting system. So that's it guys, our pool controller has been set up and our lights are ready for use. If you do have any questions regarding the installation, please visit our website, spireelectrics.com.au.